hello guys welcome back and in the last video we have generated the access token and in this video we will see how we can store the access token into shared preferences so for this i will create a separate class so create a class shared pref manager now this class will save the token and this class will also give us the token back so i am going to use singleton pattern so first define private static context and context now we also need an instance of this class so write private static set prep manager and write m instance now we will define a private constructor so write private set prep manager and the constructor will take context as an argument so you can write context context and inside we will ins initialize this object so we will write mctx equals to context now we will create a method that will return the instance of this class so we will write public static synchronized and we will name it get instance oops i forgot to write the return type so return type would be shared pref manager as it will return the instance of this class so public static synchronized shared pref manager and the name would be get instance and this method will also take context as a parameter now here we will check if m instance is null if it is null we will create a new instance so we'll write m instance equals to new shared pref manager and we will pass context and if not we will simply return the m instance now that's it now we need two methods one will store the token to shared preferences and other one will give us back the stored token from shared preferences so we'll write public boolean store token and it will take a parameter string token now here we will create a shared preferences so first define some private constants private static final string shared pref name and you can name it anything so let's write fcm shared pref demo now one more constant for the key of the token so key access token and name it like token or anything now here we will create a set preferences set preferences set preferences equals to we will write mctx dot get set preferences and the first parameter would be name and then the mode and mode would be private so we have the shared preferences now we will create an editor so for this we will write shared preferences dot editor editor equals to shared preferences dot edit now we will put the token into editor so we'll write put string and key access token and the token that is to be saved now we will apply the changes on the editor and will return true now the second method and it would return a string as it is going to return token and token is string get token and we can copy this line and we can simply write return set preferences dot get string key token and if the token is not available we can return null so the class is complete now come inside firebase instance id service and here we commented this method so delete it and call the method store token 
and pass the refreshed token and here define a method private void store token and it will take a string string token and inside we will call set manager dot get instance and we can pass get application context and we will call store token and we will pass the token now this will store the token let's test it now remember the token is already generated in the last video and this method is called only when the token is changed or newly generated so it may happen that this method will not be called this time so to resolve this problem just wipe out your emulators data Now run your application. So our application is running and let's see the token is generated or not. For this again we will check the Android monitor. So click here and again search for refreshed token and as you can see the token is generated now to check the token is saved or not we will display it to in the main activity so for this come inside the activity underscore main dot xml and here give this text view an id id text view token So come inside main activity and here we will define the text view, private text view, text view and then we will get the text view, text view equals to text view, find view by id r dot id dot text view token and we will set text and here we will call set prep manager dot get instance dot get token now let's see if it is working or not and as you can see we have the token so token was stored in shared preferences and from the shared preferences the token is displaying here so that's it for this video and in the next video we will send this token to our mysql database so that we can create our own server to send notification to users so i am wrapping it here and if you are having any confusions or troubles you can leave your comments and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video thanks for watching